good and better morning, afternoon, evening and so on. Welcome to my channel Storyteller. I'm Andrew Esada from Czech Republic and I'll try to translate all my literary works into English language and I hope that you'll like it. This is second part reading of my book My First Wonder and we can start to read. Bivak before Šumava Smrčná Near Stvořidel, alongside Sazava, became our training field. We trusted all truth that heavy is on exercise ground, you know. This four part then definitely functioned exactly. It certainly was hard. Everything started when we got off train several stations earlier and to the cottage we had to walk because we must try our new boots on and at all the walking, in lowland, of course. At first small, later gigantic, trouble was that me and Johnny couldn't find right version of boots, we found only the, for the parades and shows. It looked uh, immensely, but it had instead shoes sole to the mountains, it had smooth leather for walking and moreover metal points and heels. So we clacked on the way like a couple of grizzles. The way fortunately led us Georgia Sazaba Valley with the natural rapids, uh, which is sometimes different noise of our boats. Well, even so, sometimes foreigners as well as, as even denizens came together to weigh in foolish trust that they will see horse carriage. Kids quickly, pony are going, we heard several times. For a dinner, we prepared spaghetti with ketchup and roasted salami with onion. This food will be later with tradition in different mutations. At that time, we ate in our adolescence hunger from synthetic wash basin, called also Wiling which is in standard times for all family washing even with the dog Azor. Later we called it wash basin for bum. Here we also slept the first time below sky, near cottage of course, for the reason it somebody will not mentally endure it. We choose glade before cottage, below gigantic spruce in the middle, at the time, we were in baskets for basketball hunk and which we properly used before dinner, maybe almost supper. Nowadays, does not exist basket, neither tree, even nor proprietary rights to cottage. But this is another story and really sad story. Sleeping was nice, but morning was really funny. In the early morning it was really cold, so we nuzzled more and more respectfully deeply and deeply to the sleeping bags. Johnny led situation to the perfection. He completely crept into sleeping bag, switched on all zips and at the end tied at last upper time. At the night he naturally always turned and turned until he flipped over in sleeping bag and he had a zip below head and below back. His waking up was more funny. The rest of us, we were already woken up and full of expectation of morning show. John really didn't disappoint. He sat down and led again and repeatedly. He marred unintelligible sentence and interlaced it with shouts and groaning. We understood, for example, I can't see. It took him seriously a long time until he understood what he is, what's going on, and much longer he extricated from his own prison. The rest of the day we had to run in boots, did exercise with rucksacks on back. Briefly we were submitted to full testing physical inefficiency and we failed, of course. Important part of training was also expert comment how to survive in nature with minimum energy loses. What about dignity, not word. Interesting part was when Patrick told in very detailed about making real English tea. He said that you can put almost everything into a boiling water in kettle. Of course, 
nobody could eat what he wanted. There were set feed couples. Even everybody had to set mess tin for special food. For example, the first of twins borders and the ones his saucepans in mess tin are definitely two uh, was only on soups. It didn't have to often wash. The second was on main course. This one already had to wash, unfortunately. Even frankly, I several times experienced goulash with smack of mixed vegetables and so on. Well, we were educated and tested, petty disappointed. We started to plan our journey, but many more. We obtained even a list of things which we have to take with and which we may not. For example, another footwear, unacceptable, and so on. So me and Johnny were shocked that our boots are forever. I have to admit that on the list were several things which the meaning I absolutely didn't understand and for the first time Indeed, lightly and uh, not importantly, I felt <clears throat> flurry lack of freedom and understanding. How would it used to be nice to leave it on each of us? For example, I would like to refer to undershirt. This kind of clothes I really don't understand, the same as the tie, which indeed fortunately wasn't on the list. It isn't clear who and why think out it. I personally wear undershirt with uh, outer resistance only in biggest cold under 20 degrees Celsius. Much later I understood that the uh, jog belts like Paddy <coughs> wear it to show biceps or triceps or how are sepsis names. Similar bullshits there were many more, for example braces. The most of them I obeyed. Although I continued to edit content of Raxas on the way and some little disobedient saved us, he modest told, almost life. About this later, don't anticipate now. Okay, that's enough for now. Next part will be up and down to Shumawa. Thank you very much for your watching and if you liked it, please subscribe my channel and we'll see soon. Have a nice day.